Welcome to You Curious, your ultimate space for mini documentaries. Voyager 1 is a space probe launched by NASA on September 5, 1977, as part of the Voyager program to study the outer solar system and interstellar space beyond the Sun's heliosphere. More than four decades after its launch, the Voyager 1 probe is still exploring interstellar space, but it has encountered an issue that mystifies and baffles the spacecraft's team on Earth. Voyager 1 continues to operate well, despite its advanced age and 14.5 billion mile distance from Earth. And it can receive and execute commands sent from NASA, as well as gather and send back science data. But the readouts from the Attitude Articulation and Control System, or AACS, which control the spacecraft's orientation in space, don't match up with what Voyager is actually doing. The AACS ensures that the probe's high-gain antenna remains pointed at Earth, so Voyager can send data back to NASA. Due to Voyager's interstellar location, it takes light, 20 hours and 33 minutes to travel one way, so the call and response of one message between NASA and Voyager takes two days. So far, the Voyager team believes the AACS is still working, but the instrument's data readouts seem random or impossible. The system issue hasn't triggered anything to put the spacecraft into safe mode yet. That's when only essential operations occur, so engineers can diagnose an issue that would put the spacecraft at risk. And Voyager's signal is as strong as ever, meaning the antenna is still pointed toward Earth. The team is trying to determine if this incorrect data is coming directly from this instrument or if another system is causing it. According to a NASA release, until the nature of the issue is better understood, the team cannot anticipate whether this might affect how long the spacecraft can collect and transmit science data. A mystery like this is sort of par for the course at this stage of the Voyager mission, said Suzanne Dodd, project manager for Voyager 1 and 2 at NASA's Jet Propulsion Laboratory in a statement. The spacecraft are both almost 45 years old, which is far beyond what the mission planners anticipated. It's also in interstellar space, a high radiation environment that no spacecraft has flown in before. So there are bound to be some big challenges for the engineering team. If the team doesn't determine the source of the issue, they may just adapt to it. Or if they can find it, the issue may be solved by making a software change or relying on a redundant hardware system. Voyager has already relied on backup systems to last as long as it has. In 2017, the probe fired thrusters that were used during its initial planetary encounters during the 1970s, and they still worked after remaining unused for 37 years. The aging probes produce very little power per year, so subsystems and heaters have been turned off over the years so that critical systems and science instruments can keep operating. Voyager 2 a twin spacecraft, continues to operate well in interstellar space, 12.1 billion miles from Earth. By comparison, Neptune, the farthest planet from Earth, is at most only 2.9 billion miles away. Both probes were launched in 1977 and have far exceeded their original purpose to fly by planets. Now, they have become the only two spacecraft to gather data from interstellar space and provide insights about the heliosphere, or the bubble created by the Sun, that extends beyond the planets in our solar system. Here's hoping the Voyager team is able to determine the issue, or find a way around it, so the Voyager can continue with the great work it has done for the past 45 years. What do you guys think? Drop in your comments to let us know, and don't forget to subscribe to You Curious, your ultimate space for mini documentaries. We would all love to find proof of extraterrestrial life on Mars, Tentacle monsters, four-eyed aliens, multi-limb Martians, anything works. What we want even more, is an extraterrestrial society, with underground bunkers. We're hoping for NASA, to make our science fiction dreams come true. So, have they delivered? A recent image from NASA's Curiosity rover, of an unusual rock structure on Mars, has sparked some conjecture about alien passageways on Mars. The rocks on Mars, are known for their unusual appearances. Ever since this image was released to the general public, there's been a lot of speculation, asking what might have caused a doorway-like passage to appear on the side of a Mars hill. 
Curiosity's mast-mounted camera took the picture in a series of raw photographs, on May 7. A UFO fanatic deciphered the image, which looks like an entrance to a secret underground tunnel, by providing a broader look at the surrounding landscape. This led the netizens to ask questions like, is this the proof we've been looking for our entire lives? Will we finally be able to see aliens? And, is this a portal to another dimension? Not to be party poopers and all, but the truth about these images is far from all the theories surrounding it. The doorway is not a doorway at all. It's just a small crevice on a Martian hill, that looks like an interdimensional passage. Images of Mars can be very tricky. A strangely eroded rock can resemble a fish. A cliff with backlighting can resemble the profile of a face. Cropped images and zoomed-in views can magnify small details. If the shadows were falling at a different angle, it would make the doorway very uninteresting. The scientists at NASA emphasized on how small the crevice actually is. It's only about 30 by 45 centimeters wide. While we can't be positive if Martians used little doorways, NASA felt confident that the door in this case was simply a small rocky crevice. This isn't meant to take away from the excitement of discovering strangely shaped rocks and landscape characteristics on Mars. The fact that we have a wheeled robot roaming around in the Gale Crater, transmitting back photographs from another planet, is arguably the most magical aspect. Don't you guys agree? Let's move on from the Gale Crater to the Elysium Planitia, where the InSight rover is located. NASA scientists are ecstatic, after the InSight lander detected a big mass quake on the 4th of May. The tremor was judged to be magnitude 5, making it the strongest of more than 1,300 quakes recorded by the lander since its arrival on Mars in 2018. Researchers have used data from InSight seismometer to image the planet's innards in order to better understand how rocky planets like Mars and Earth develop. The analysis has already begun. NASA has been waiting for the big one ever since InSight seismometer was set down. This quake will undoubtedly provide a unique perspective about Mars. For years to come, scientists will be examining this data to learn new things about the planet. On Earth, a magnitude 5 earthquake isn't a big deal, but it's testing the boundaries of what scientists expected from Mars. The tremor was described by NASA as the largest yet detected on another planet. Though NASA's Apollo mission discovered evidence of quakes on the Moon, we still have a lot to learn about quakes on other worlds. The magnificent mass quake occurs at a time when InSight is experiencing power outages caused by dust-caked solar panels. The lander's mission has been extended until the end of the year by NASA, but its future remains uncertain as dust concerns persist. Whatever happens to InSight, it will have substantially increased our understanding of Mars and how it rattles its tail feathers. What do you guys think?